Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelby and today I want to talk about some books that I would love to reread in the year of 2019. I have about nine or ten books here that I want to reread either because they're being made into a movie or because another one is coming out by this author or just because I want to read the entirety of this author and things like that. Um, so I'm going to hop right into it. I will link them all down below as well as my Goodreads if you want to be my friend and let's just get right into it. So the first one I want to reread I read about five years ago and it is called The Art of Racing in the Rain by Garth Stein. I was watching a video by Books and Lala and she said that this was being turned into a movie. It is about a race car driver and his dog and I remember loving it. It was through the perspective of the dog and I figure before the movie comes out I would love to reread it and refresh my memory of what it is about but I do remember loving it and that it did make me cry so I would love to reread this one. It's been like I said about five years since I've read this book and then I want to reread two Colleen Hoover books. Most importantly I want to reread Ugly Love which was my first Colleen Hoover and I really really liked it and it got me into her books um, and I remember the plot line somewhat, but not fully because it has been a couple of years. And I also want to reread It Ends With Us, which I also really liked. I want to reread them um, because I want to finish up all the books that I have from her. And I've read most of them. I think I might be missing like a couple that I would have to get. Um, and then I can make a full video on Colleen Hoover. Um, I don't feel comfortable enough with the plots of these anymore that I could give in depth. Um, reviews of them and I remember loving them and I just think it would be great to kind of fall back in love with them because it has been a while since I read them. And then I would also love to read another Leanne Mor Moriarty book like reread one of them. I read The Husband's Secret and Big Little Lies a couple of years ago. I read The Husband's Secret first and then Big Little Lies and they are available to e-read with my library all the time. So I might just read them through there on my Kindle. I would want to read probably not both of them but I want to reread one of them just because I loved them so much. Maybe The Husband's Secret because it's been longer since I've read that one and I don't hear about that one as much as Big Little Lies. But if I do watch the TV show I would like to read Big Little Lies again first um, just to kind of be refreshed on it. And then I really also want to reread my Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. I read this a few years ago and I don't have a review on it or anything and I barely remember the synopsis just that it's about two neighbors and they come from very different like households. Um, but I did give it five stars and I really want to reread it and see if I love it just as much. I find that a lot of YA I don't love as much as I did a few years ago just because I'm older and living a different life now. Um, but yeah, I would like to reread it, especially because I have another one by her. Can't remember the title, but I have another one and I would like to reread this prior to reading that one. And then I have three historical fiction I would like to reread. One of them is The Lost Wife by Allison Richman. This one I read probably about five years ago, I think, or six years ago, and this is still one of my absolute favorite historical fiction novels. It sits in World War II and it's about two... Jewish people who fell in love and they get torn apart by war. One gets sent over to the United States, one gets put in a concentration camp and they think the other one died and then they reunite years later when they are really old and it was such a sweet and touching story and I can't remember a lot of the details and I just remember loving it and I would love to reread it and kind of re-experience that. And then this one I read last year so it actually has some not last year, I read it 2017, so actually almost two years ago. Um, felt like I just read it last year. And it's by Irma Joubert, I think that's how you say her name, and it's called The Girl from the Train. And the reason I want to reread this is because I have two other books by her, and I haven't read them, and I would love to reread this before reading those. They are also historical fiction. This is a World War II historical fiction, and I can't remember, honestly, a lot of it. I think it does have some concentration camp stuff in it. And it is about a girl who gets on a train. So I want to reread this prior to reading the other two. That way I can maybe make a video about this author. And I do remember loving this book. I think I gave it like four and a half stars or something like that. 
and then this one is lilac girls i also think i read it in 2017 and i really loved this one as well i think i gave it four or five stars the reason i want to reread this is because she has a new one coming out in april i believe um it's lilac girls by martha hall kelly and i believe the next one is that has rose in the title or roses and I pre-ordered it, so I really want to reread this prior to getting that one. And this is about women in um, a concentration camp, and it focuses around these uh, true story about the they're called the rabbits. They were basically tested on by this really awful doctor, and these weird tests were done on them. Um, against their will in the concentration camps and it focuses on girls who were a part of that and it was really it was crazy and a really hard thing to read about but also really important and I want to reread this just to brush my memory on this book so when I go into her next book I can you know kind of remember what her writing is like so those are about nine or ten books I would love to reread this year. I don't reread a lot of books, but I would love to reread maybe one a month because I do read a lot, so there's no reason I can't reread them. Let me know if you guys have books that you just love to reread over and over again and what you guys are currently reading, and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.